And one of the scribes came up, and hearing them disputing, seeing that he answered them well, questioned him, Which commandment is the first of all? Jesus answered him, The first is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than this. And the scribe said to him, Well, teacher, you have truly said that he is one, and there is no other than he. And to love him with all the heart, and with all the understanding, and with all the strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself, is much more than all whole burnt offerings and sacrifices. Jesus seeing but he answered wisely, said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God, and no one dared to question him anymore. Good morning. Welcome to a short biblical reflection on the gospel according to Mark chapter 12, verses 28 up to 34. The question concerning the first or the greatest commandment. The gospel reading for 31st Sunday in ordinary time year B. This story begins with a question posed by one of the scribes and then at the end concludes with remark that no one dared to question him anymore. We have mentioned that the scribe came up and hearing them disputing, that hearing them disputing is omitted in the lectionary. So in the lectionary we do not understand really the setup, that it is one of the questions posed to Jesus in order just to tempt uh, Jesus to find any fault in him. And now uh, there is a series in this text of quotations. Uh, Jesus, in this case, he in Mark and Gospel, answers the question uh, with a quotation, firstly, from the book of Deuteronomy, which concerns the love of God uh, with all heart, with all soul, with all mind and with all strength. And then, uh, from the book of Leviticus, where we have the commandment of loving neighbor. Because in the Old Testament, they are not in one place. They are in two separate books. But then, in concluding remark, Jesus makes the point about the greater, that there is no greater commandment than this. Uh, why the question was the first. Then the scribes uh, takes the initiative at quotes from two texts. From the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, verse 35. By the way, I put uh, those uh, biblical uh, remarks uh, within the brackets uh, highlighted in yellow, so you can see on the screen. And the last quotation is from the book of Hosea, uh, where is this remark about that God doesn't like sacrifices. Uh, since we have this text in uh, all other synoptics. Let's make also comparison because the presentation is a little bit different. In the Gospel according to Matthew, it opens with this remark. But when the Pharisees heard that he had silenced the Sadducees, they came uh, together and one of them, a lawyer, questioned him to test him. Teacher, which is the great uh, commandment in the law? Why, in the Lucan Gospel, and behold, a certain lawyer stood up and put him to test, saying, Teacher, we shall, uh, what I shall do to inherit eternal life? So the matter of test even is more stressed in both Gospels, Matthew and Luke. Uh, then in Matthew and Luke, of course, the person is named as a lawyer. Here we have one of the scribes. And concerning the question, in uh, Matthew is quite similar, only that we have now that the great commandment, why in Mark we have the first. But in Luke, the, com the question is completely different, uh, because it's concerning uh, uh, to inherit eternal life, not the greatest or not the first commandment. And in Matthew's Gospel, Jesus uh, answers but skips the first uh, uh, point of reference to the book of Deuteronomy, this expression, here, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one, 
as we have in Mark, we do not have in Matthew, and also we do not have it uh, in Lucan Gospel, because from this point of view, in Lucan Gospel, uh, there is completely different setting. So now let's first let me yet make me to this comparison yet with Gospel according to uh, Matthew. So then uh, Jesus just proceeds with, you shall love uh, the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with concluding remark, which uh, is that this is the first commandment, and then Jesus proceeds to the second one, so also breaks uh, uh, the order, not this exactly the same, but because in Mark and Gospel, this remark comes after the second commandment, while in Matthew's Gospel, now, after this remark, we have the second commandment of loving neighbor. And then, just very briefly, the conclusion. On these two commandments depend all the law uh, and the prophets. So we do not have uh, that interaction as in Mark, that the scribe now takes uh, the floor and speaks, explaining. And in uh, Luke and Gospel, uh, Jesus answers the question with questions. Uh, what is written in the law and how do you read it? So consequently now this uh, lawyer answers, not Jesus. So this is completely different than in Matthew and Mark because this lawyer answers, quoting just from the book of Deuteronomy, that you shall love your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, and then uh, joining together with uh, loving your neighbor so without breaking and even without making the point if there is the first or the second commandment so in that way it's just as one uh, and then uh, concluding uh, remark of Jesus that you have answered correctly do this and you shall live and then follows uh, uh, that this uh, this lawyer wanted to justify him uh, because he was caught up in this situation. So then Jesus quotes uh, that parable of the uh, Good Samaritan. As in the Lucan Gospel, there is no just the distinction, the first and the second, because it's put everything as one. Also this concept uh, as one, we have in the first letter of John, chapter four, verses 20 and 21, uh, where we read, if anyone says, I love God and hates his brother, he's a liar. For he who does not love his brother whom he has seen cannot love God whom he has not seen. And uh, this commandment we have from him that he who loves God should love his brother also. So there is that interdependence. There is no possibility of loving God without loving neighbor and vice versa. And now also I put here this quotation from the book of Hosea, how it is formulated there. For I desire mercy, not sacrifice, the knowledge of God, rather than, the, than burnt offerings. And uh, this text from Hosea is quoted also in New Testament twice in the Gospel according to Matthew. Seeing the synoptic comparison, uh, now we can see that the flow of the story is different in each gospel. Now, in, as it concerns the Mark and gospel, this peculiar stress at the beginning on oneness of God, that quotation that is not used by uh, Matthew nor by Luke, that the Lord our God, the Lord is one, because it is also taken by the scholar in verse 32 that he is one and there is no other than he because this is the basis god is one therefore the person has to love uh, god uh, as one in the sense with all the faculties with all heart with all soul with all mind and with all strength and uh, the other stress which uh, is here and not in other gospels uh, at that uh, quotation from the book of hosea that uh, love is more preferred by God than sacrifices. And uh, as concluding remark, uh, the way the question is about the first or the greatest, no matter that here also in Mark we have the first, why in Matthew twice is about the great, 
because this verse doesn't mean in order but means of importance because uh, in Jewish tradition as it is uh, recorded in Talmud and uh, the Jews, the modern Jews also continue they extracted from the Old Testament from the five books of the Old Testament uh, of the first the, those books called uh, the Law, Torah uh, 613 different commandments among them 248 positive and 365 negative so in that jungle uh, of different commandments they are for sure discussing among themselves and looking for a solution which uh, of this could be the most important that uh, by observing that it would be possible also to uh, say that they were observing all others i would like to wish you a nice day a nice discussion nice reflection on this gospel reading. God bless you.